right, Gem's about to get in the car. Monday morning, fresh start, let's get going. Ready, love? Yeah. Monday morning, guys. We are in the unit, bright and early. Couple of jobs I want to get done. One of course, one of course is get this compressor working. Two is measure up and order some rollers for the welder. And three is just double check that this is holding together. I will revisit this in the future and obviously build a better one. But for now, it's a get out of jail free card for me to do a little bit of welding and fabricating and ting. Well, I've just chipped all the old plaster off of that wall. Why anyone put plaster on there, I've no idea. I mean, looking at it, an actual human being had to have put that stuff up there. They must be balmy, my friend. So I've knocked it all off. It's back to the brickwork so we can see what we're dealing with in terms of brickage. And uh, I can now clean that down, maybe give it a quick wash down. I brushed it and wire brushed it and everything. And then hopefully we can stick some paint on. So at some point, maybe not this week, but at some point, I want to paint all but that wall, I think. I'll just leave one wall with, uh, with brickwork showing because that's the nicest wall. But that's the plan. So I've had a real, real good clean up this morning. Give you a quick, uh, quick tour. So literally, all the floors, all that block work's gone out there. The welding table's in its position with the record vise on there and the grinding discs, grinding wheels. I'm probably gonna mount those two items somewhere separately. Might have to rejig where I've mounted these two table saw sleds. There's no reason really why they can't live actually under the table. There's plenty of room under there. There's even plenty of room down here now. So all looking good. The next job is to take the end out of the compressor and see if we can get it to hold some pressure. I might have a dial to put on there as well, if I'm lucky. In fact, let's have a quick peek. Because I could have swore I had some dials in here. <gasps> I think I know where they are. Dials, regs and pneumatics, baby. Oh yes. That might just do the job. Oh, it looks a little bit low on the pressure side. Something that goes a little bit higher than four bar, don't we, really? Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Let's give it a whirl. Oh, another one there. Yeah, it's just two and a half bar. We'll have a dig around, see if we can find something. Well, I really should have filmed that. <laughs> so I've picked the compressor up, put it on here. So this is a 2012 model. I'm slightly concerned that there's some water inside. There seems to be an indication of a blow-off valve. I also need to fabric cobble some type of hex plug to go into this end to seal this up, because that is no good. And then we're gonna change the connector for a female, I think, and we'll see if we can replace this dial. It doesn't need to go up to 12 bar, I'm pretty sure. Well, I kind of wish I'd filmed that. This is the second cup of sludge. The first one's here. I'm just gonna quickly douse this down the drain because it looks like this cup is about to overflow again. So look at the crap that's, oh sugar tits. Look at that, the shite that's coming out of here. This definitely hasn't been drained for a long time. Silly, silly people. <sighs> okay. So we've got a ball valve on there. This is all temporary. I'm gonna buy stainless steel fittings proper 150 pound ones or whatever they're called, compressor rated. Also got one on there because I can't find a blanking plug. And then for the reg, I can't find a working dial for the regulator. So I'm gonna pop on this quick disconnect 
and I think I'll just put the old maybe the old rag back on and we'll see how she goes well it appears to have worked she's up to pressure she shut off at just over nine bar and it says working pressure max nine bar so she's a little bit on the high side but at least she shut off let's have a go oh yes and I did manage to get this dial working as well look hey <laughs> fancy that okay I finished messing with the compressor it works I've written down on a shopping list what I need to get I've connected it up to my little blower and we're happy we're happy with that oh I also need a a dial don't I regulate a dial put that on the list as I right next job Stu's brought me these stools down from up at the pub they wobble these tack welds here have broken so I'm gonna crack the welder out and we're just gonna dress these up a little bit and uh, and make them all back together you come to have a look at me woof Have a look at this tackle. Still's off to tip. Just welding up some chairs and getting used to this MIG welder that I've got. <laughs> I've just blown a fucking hole in it. <laughs> yeah. What? Because I don't know the settings. Alright. That's a big deal. Yeah, freebie. Right, so that's the section you want to look at, isn't it? Yeah. That's the bit. I'm going to have to uh, take the screws out of this fire escape then to get you out. You're right, Pete, in our sight. Is it a bit shit? Well, it's probably for getting underneath our sheets enough, isn't it? That's great if you can do that from the side, get your trim done, and build your box cutter up. Yeah. Get your box cutter up in sections and then lift it up. It's just going to get worse and worse, isn't it, though, because it's leaking through now. Yeah. Yeah, it's all over. All over? Yeah. Oh wait, put things back through it. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit of a summer, isn't it? There's a sweet brush up here, there's uh, overpipes. Not a bit of overpipes. Yeah, I think that's probably a bigger job than you get credit for that, isn't it? Definitely. A couple of days work from there. Yeah. You've got a day stripping it off, then you've got to make it water tight. So that's Dave just having a look at the roof for me because I think he's the man to do the repairs. And just like that, quick as a flash, I'm back with the kids. They're upstairs eating pot noodle and Stuart's brought me these stools down. I've had a quick practice on that one and I think I've pretty much nailed it. So I'm just gonna re-weld all of the joints on these metal stools they've only been tacked you see and with some fat arses then obviously the welds break loose craig <laughs> Still a little bit rough around the edges, folks, but you can see we're starting to get there. These are probably some of the worst ones, but it's just getting the motion right and getting the settings right, but I think we're getting there. I know there are bird shit welds. I'm not kidding anybody here, you know, but 
I think a bit more practice will be going in the right direction. That's the stools done. So I'd like to take this opportunity to enjoy a pint of Four Pure Juice Box. Oh, brilliant. <clears throat> right, so I've got the grinders, which I had to use considerably to tidy up the welds on those stools. Some of the joints were really quite big and the metal was so thin it had snapped off so I just I just filled it with metal and then just ground it neat. But what I've noticed is the grinders are obviously just in the way on the table so I want to set it up so I've got somewhere to hang them. Come up with an idea. So I've got a piece of steel I'm going to stick this piece of angle to the bench like this and they just sit on with the guards just like that you just hook them over perfect so I just have to get this the right height on the side of the bench so that the wheels aren't poking up over the top particularly with stuff like this slitting disc you don't want to damage it so in order to do that Cut a couple of brackets, we'll sit the bracket on there, we'll weld that on, and then weld that onto the table. I think it'll work a treat. I'm really quite pleased with how everything's turning out. It's looking like the shop is coming together nicely. I've decided that that table is gonna be the grinding table and I will mount that vise on there. Why are we out of focus? I will mount that vise on there and build a bigger welding table, but I just need to get some more stainless, uh, some more mild steel plate and then I think the next job is going to be replace the cable for the compressor because I've actually spotted holes in it. So we'll just clear out that screw hole. And then what we're going to do is take that section off and put a brand new power cable on. Alright, cable's changed on the compressor. She's out here now. There's some air left in it. Just above 5 bar, we're going to see if that drops overnight. I suspect it will because I'm pretty sure that not everything is watertight. Can you hear the dog and the kid upstairs? Right, everything's cushy in here. Doors are locked. So let's turn everything off. Let's go upstairs and see if the children are ready to go home. So Dave had a look at all this roof today. That's all going to get changed out. Come on then, folks. Dominic spilled the pot noodle, didn't you, buddy? Yeah. Although, chance knocked it over like he the sofa. Oh my god, it's warm in here. Yeah. That little heater can kick some heat out. Come on then, folks, let's go home. And let's say goodbye to everyone in the vlog, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye.